is the uh, a long poem by Nuria Jarrah. Uh, the poem is called A Boat to Lesbos, Elegy to the Daughters of Nash. Greek Tablet, The Call of Sappho, 1. Suffering Syrians, beautiful Syrians, Syrian brothers fleeing death. You won't reach the shores on rafts, but will be born on beaches with the foam. Lost gold dust you are, melted gold dust, scattered, dulled. From abyss to abyss in the hollow of the sea of the room, with the starfish and her brother, the roving squid, the waves con convey you under the light of or Orsa Major, the daughters of Nash. Like mermaids born in the quivering light, beautiful Syrian women set tender, wounded souls on the rocks and gray sand of Lesbos. رأيت البرق شرقيا ولاح في لمح وكان غربيا رأيت الشمس في دمها مبلولة والبحر مضطربا والأمس منهوبا من الكتب أيها السوريون السوريون الأليمون السوريون الوسيمون السوريون الأشقاء الهاربون من الموت أنتم لا تصلون بالقوارب ولكنكم تولدون على الشواطئ مع الزبد تبر هالك أنتم uh, My name is Camilo Gomez Rivas I'm an associate professor at the University of California in Santa Cruz where I in the literature department where I teach courses on Islamic Spain and the medieval Mediterranean Islamic law and society and Arabic literature. Uh, I have been translating for Bani Pal since 2000, um, and I've been translating Arabic literature since around then as well. And, and I have kind of specialized in poetry. Academically, I've specialized in law, medieval legal texts, and uh, in as far as translating literature, I've, I've, I've done some prose, but I've, I've specialized in poetry. And both of these I mean, both of these are very important, arguably very important forms of texts in, in Arabic uh, culture, historically. So I think that's, that's one of the reasons why. Another one is I, I've, I feel they're under, underrepresented, or poetry has been underrepresented in translation, and it poses a particular challenge. And of course, it's very economical. So all of the, the beauty of translating poetry is that it, they present, it presents all of the, tr uh, the challenges of translating in a very compact way, form, space, and, uh, and I love it. Um, and, it, and therefore, what it means for me to be shortlisted for the Sarah Maguire Prize is that, is a kind of, because I've been translating poetry, yeah, one doesn't get as much attention as when you're translating uh, prose, and so, so it's a real, it's a real honor and a real, yeah, a real pleasure and um, it feels really good to, to be recognized and for poetry to be recognized and for poetry translation that kind of work to be recognized I'm very excited about it and I really appreciate the, the opportunity to to also to reappear in, a, in an anthology um, I have been translating with with uh, Bani Pal since 2000 and uh, I lived in Beirut for about five years and I lived in Cairo for another five years, and I lived in, uh, in Casablanca as well, and, and in, these, in these locations I, I very fortunately, um, well that's when I, when I did a lot of my translations for Bani Pal, and, it, and, um, and also interviews with poets and authors, and, uh, and sometimes some of my best experiences was sitting with a poet and, uh, and hammering out the translation together, but since I moved, uh, I moved to Santa Cruz, California in 2014, and since then I, I have to, I'm at a remove. Um, although this work of uh, by Nuria Jarrah has been a longer has been a longer process. So of course I, I know him through Bani Pal, through through the editors, um, and we did not we did not correspond a lot. Here is what I had was a lot of time to to sit and think over over the work. It was it, it was a long poem which I'm going to read to you in a second. Um, 
and, uh, and it, it was actually having the time and space to, to think and reflect and, uh, and listen to the poem and then, and then produce a translation. My, so my relationship has been uh, with Nuri has been particularly through, through this, these poems.